don't go for your step two exams without doing the ethics questions on Angus. I wasn't satisfied with my average. So it's really important to get a great score. I try to do a lot of CMS forms. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia and if you're watching for the first time, you're welcome. Well, I recently graduated medical school and I am currently on my journey to residency. And today I'll be talking about how I studied for the step two exams, my timeline, the resources I used to prepare, and also since I wish I did better in the course of my preparation. So let's begin. Well, for my timeline, I studied for step two exam for roughly seven months and I took so much time because since the step one system has moved to pass fail, a lot more focus has been directed towards your scores on the step two exam. So it's really important to get a great score so you can match into a program here. Yeah. All the resources I use, I started with online med ed. It's not something I would say is really important to use. I just started off with it because I needed to like brush up my knowledge on some subjects Subjects which I was a little bit weak in. I used online med ed first and then I moved on to UWorld. So for UWorld, it has over 4,000 questions for step two, um, which is very different from step one. I think step one is like 3,000 or thereabout. So I did my first pass of UWorld and I started off system wise. After I did my first pass, I moved on to like doing the mixed system. After my first pass, I wasn't satisfied with my average and so I decided to do a second pass which i wish i actually didn't do but yes i did a second pass for you all so after the second pass my average was better and then i moved on to the nbme test i took my first nbme which was nbme 9 i passed but it wasn't what i expected but one thing i'll also say is that when taking the nbme exam especially when um, you're starting off first just give yourself time because with as time goes like your scores progressively increase but because i wasn't satisfied i did the cms form so i looked at the subjects that i really that were low and then i just did the cms forms for those subjects i tried to do a lot of CMS forms and after the CMS forms I went on to take the next NBME which was better. After that I noticed that my scores were sort of reached a plateau so it wasn't increasing or decreasing and it got me really worried. Well I just moved on. I went on to take the um, the AMBOSS questions on ethics which I would say is really important. Like don't go for your step two exams without doing the ethics questions on AMBOSS. Yes. So I did the ethics question and I still continued with the NBME test. But this time around, I noticed that my problem with the NBME test wasn't a knowledge problem. It was like I needed to work on my test taking strategies, which I will talk about in my next videos. So how to approach the question, how to think through, yeah, how to pick the right option and all of that. So I did that and my scores really improved this brings me to the end of my video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and also if you have any questions you can always reach out to me on instagram send your questions to my email or even in the chat box and i'll try my best to answer all of them thank you bye see you in my next video